Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this Ladola 4K wireless HDMI transmitter and receiver set. Yeah, this is 4K and it's capable to transmit an HDMI signal uh, to around 100 feet or 30 meters if there are no uh, obstructions in between. Uh, so let's test this how easy this is. It's actually pre-connected from the factory. So let's see what we can do and how this works. So here's what we have. Here's the transmitter which you have to connect to the PC. So this standard HMI goes to the output of your PC. So in this case we are using this mini PC. And then we have the receiver which has two antennas and we can use also the HDMI here or we can use VGA. Uh, here's an extra power if we need extra power if the HDMI power is not enough. And here we have even a headphone jack really solid, quite heavy. The good thing is that the cable is not connected to the receiver so you can use any existing uh, HDMI connector like full size HDMI to mini HDMI or to micro HDMI or whatever you have. So here's the instructions. You can see same thing again as I've already told you uh, how the connection is working. So here we have the normal HDMI to full size HDMI and we have two times USB-C as power supply. Here we have an extra power supply for the transmitter and here we have the power supply for the receiver. By the way, both of the devices have a button here. Usually it's not needed to push them, but if you have connection problems and for some reason they should not connect to each other, you can long press on both sides for about five to eight seconds or so, and then they should reconnect. But I would first try without doing anything. To attach the antenna is very easy. So we have these two antennas ready. Of course, the distance here is very short, but uh, it depends uh, on your installation, so your situation anyway, so I can't show you all the different settings anyway. I'm just showing you how easy this is to connect. So I have both devices on power USB-C here from this PC. And now what I'm going to do, I unplug here the existing HDMI cable, and you can see there is no connection anymore. So this goes into the receiver and you can see already the setup is also very good that they show you exactly how this works and what you can do to reconnect if you have problems also instruction for iOS and Android really nice. Now what we have to do of course here is to replace the existing connection here from the output of this mini PC. So let's plug it in and see how long this takes to connect. We have to give it a couple of seconds and then it should usually automatically connect here. Let's wait for a little bit. So we see this blinking blue light, probably it's trying to connect here. Yeah, it took just about 10 seconds or so. I really didn't have to do anything and now it's connected wireless. There's definitely no HDMI connection here between this PC and this screen and I don't see any difference at all. You can see I can use the mouse. I mean, of course, there's maybe a little bit of a delay it can't be prevented. I mean, of course, this is not something which I would recommend to use for gaming or so, but for normal video presentation, let's say, if you need this for conference or so, or just for normal business presentation, this could be definitely absolutely perfect, or just also for normal streaming, like uh, for your PC or so, for entertainment, that's Definitely no problem. The quality looks perfect. If you would ask me which connection this is, I really couldn't tell you. This is exactly the same as before. So I'm really happy with it. I can give you full recommendation and I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing of this device down into the description so you can check it out and order it from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you next time